<laughs> Guys, I'm yes. so sorry. I'm being so inarticulate, but it's just glorious. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Shanae and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to something that I'm very excited to talk to you guys about and that is Meet You at the Blossom. And the reason why I'm so excited about this is because a company has finally done what I've been hoping they would do since we got like vague news about Eternal Faith aka Tian Guan Fu being bought for live action. And that is that they finally got a non-Chinese company to co-produce a Chinese BL, which means it's uncensored and available for us to enjoy in its full BL glory. And I'm really hoping this does well, not just for the producers' sake, but also so that other producers and investors can maybe see the success of this show and realize that there's a massive market for it and we all would very much like them to help us gain world domination via BL. So anyway, I'm very excited. I hope this does well. I have no idea what to expect going into it, but I'm just intrigued. Before we do get into it, however, I just want to say a quick massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. And if you're interested in joining either of those for uncut and exclusive reactions, links will all be in the description below along with my social media and my PO box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. Also, please help me get this to a thousand views so that we can continue with the show. I'm begging you. Because <laughs> I really... I'm very hopeful and optimistic about this. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I should keep my expectations low, but I don't know if I'm capable of that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's video. They really said uncensored BL we're not holding back and I respect them for it. Like. Wow. When I told you guys I have no idea what to expect going into it, I meant it. I have no idea what the plot or summary of this is. I don't even want to know because this first episode hooked me and I'm so intrigued and invested already. I can't believe they did the aphrodisiac trope in episode two. We're getting that in episode two. Like, I hope they handle it well because those kinds of things can get very non-conny very quickly and I don't think, at least I don't hope, that's where they're gonna go with it. But still, I think this is everything and more that I could have hoped for with like a trial run uncensored wuxia BL. What the hell? I, I can't believe I love to see it today. I'm so happy right now. Oh, okay, sorry. I need to I need to calm down. I really need to calm down. That was fantastic. I'm so keen on the characters already. And I love that, you know, obviously we know that Lord Jung is a lord and not a lady. But the fact that um, Master Jin didn't know that, he wasn't put off by her being like an excellent, and I'm saying her now because I'm talking from his perspective, like being an excellent martial artist, her being taller than him, like none of that. He was just like, this woman is a beauty, like he's full face con, beauty, I need to protect her and like pledge my life to her. And he full on went there, like he didn't just, it wasn't lip service, he full on committed. Even though it's a little bit weird, I respect it. <laughs> Oh goodness, that was so much fun. I love the humor. The intrigue so far has been great. Um, even though I'm not completely 100% on the politics that are politicking, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. At least the names are pretty easy to remember so far. I, I appreciate that because I'm never good with names. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm sorry if my commentary wasn't the best in this one. I was frankly overwhelmed and hopefully I will see you guys in episode two. Zajin.